Guys, we're gonna play another TGC Tours Dream oh, Team goody, course here. Fun. This is my chat interrupts me, which is fine. This is Hackamore Field Club by Maddie from Canada. Um, I once called him Maddie from the greatest country on earth because I also am Canadian. He is our reigning CC contest champion with Yellow Prairie, no, Yellow Grass Prairie Club. I always mix that up. And so I'm curious to see what he's come up, up, up with here for Team Red. Um, there's a familiarity to this, and I don't know why. Maybe I'll figure it out as we go along. I wonder if he's featuring yellow because that's how he, what he got for his... Um, that was the course that won him the CC contest. Oh, what's over here? Is this equestrian? It is. Got an equestrian... Whatever that um, jumping thingy is. There are Easter eggs to be found. Let me know. There's been a bit of this um, kind of fall. Um, look to it. We've got... I'm guessing this is polo. Show jumping. Thank you. And then this is the polo. Because this is... Um, this is like a, a, like a po golf slash polo club, isn't it? There'll so be a lot of horses and whatnot. Yeah, that's cool. Putting the polo here it's a shame you have to get down so far to actually s for the the posts to render what's he used for his post oh he's just yeah i used those okay very cool i i my there's gonna be easter eggs out here there have to be it's maddie there's kind of stable Get a track anywhere? Probably not. That's not this kind of place. It's got to be Easter egg somewhere. Anyways, clubhouse is out of bounds. I love the way that bunker sits. Um, the red grass. Uh, give me a minute on that one. Oh, that needs to stay right. Oh, hang on. You redeemed it before I started? That's, that's true, but since you said to be fair. Now, to be fair. 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 Little pitch. Ah. Uh. I failed, okay? <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, so again, there's red, but the red is all helping. All of it. And actually, again, stick it up here, dead. I could see where you hitting it here, you might actually end up in a bad spot. Oh, I missed a four yard chip. Are you serious? Green's going to have some slope to them by the looks of it. But the entire course does, so. A 260-yard par 4. <laughs> oh, Maddie. Look at this. Um, I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah, I do. We're slinging one. We overslung it. Are we gonna get lucky? Uh, kind of. I mean, I don't know that you can hit this green with a T shot. I'm sure you can. It's ridiculously difficult to do it. Yeah, that might be a bit dicey, even with a wedge. I don't know. It's a 270 yard hold. And it doesn't start red either. It does start yellow. 
ball could stop there. Yeah, it takes a while for it to get, like, it, it doesn't really get to be a massive shade of red either, and it's 158 greens. Hmm. There's a pin here. Uh, where else? There, maybe? There's gotta be one more. I don't know. It, it's, it's a bold green. I do like the idea of making that green on a, like, it's just such a silly little par four lengthwise, and it's all about the green. Um, and then you play a 500 yard par four right afterwards where you get room. I wouldn't want to speed that green up too much. But again, it's such a short par four. Um, yeah, views are great. I mean, Maddie's shown over and over again. He knows how to do that. Yeah, even though we've got this false edge, which I, I don't generally like, it's just running off into a chipping area that it just looks like the land does that. It doesn't feel forced. It just feels like that's how this land... And again, the land is all going this way. So it does seem to flow, right? Ah, I pushed it. I'm down there. Let's go check out the chipping area, guys. See, this is more difficult than um, yellow grass was so far. We played yellow grass in the promotion event, and there were some silly scores sc shot on it. Yeah, I, the way the plant, the planting is growing on me. That red is is adding a touch to it. That's really quite cool. First, I wasn't sure. Yep. Again, everything seems to be flowing in the predominant direction. There's some subtlety to getting to that red slope. And we can play out here and not ever have to worry about it. Uh, any course is going to be difficult if you can't putt. Scob the hell out of that one. Jeez, I'm useless with a putter. Oh, man. I mean, I have to. What's it? So the, the waypoint is over here, which is the shot to play. You try and, if you try and go over here, and you don't make it, you are so dead. And even if you do. Huh. Yeah. No, that's not the shot. Yeah, wrong club. Yeah, that this is a layup. This is this is a I'm goading in you in sorry. I'm goading you into trying to take it over the corner at it and you're not going to like your result when you do it. Streams like on the course? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's stuff like this. Honestly, with a guy like Maddie, I don't even really look at it because I know it's good. Um, he wouldn't release the course if it wasn't, if that stuff wasn't clean. But yeah, it, it, the stream is really good. 
Uh, and then we've got some serious ground game opportunity here. I'm gonna try and run this down the hill. That's just so much for more fun. New designers, please take note of a shot like that. That is so much more fun than having the ball just getting rejected here and sent down nine feet down or something. The opportunity is, and a lot of people would just take three wood, blast it over the green. You're back here somewhere. But you can land the thing 20 yards short of the green and roll it right on there. That's really, I, just, I love the way, and even if I hadn't gotten it that close, I'd still love it. That's one of the biggest differences is the the, the good the good designers will give you the chance to hit that shot. Oh, you're trying to tempt me again. 326 to carry that bunker. Hmm. I don't have it. Or do I? Nope. Yeah, this is a course where he's really saying, have you got your head screwed on straight today before you come out on the course? Because you need to, you need to use it. Now nah, it's gone. I mean, to have a birdie putt at all, I'm lucky. And it's because I played the hole poorly. The whole, the shot here, take a three wood, punt it out here somewhere, dump, dump a wedge around here. Maybe make the putt, maybe not. There's some slope in that green, but again, the entire property slopes that way, so it makes sense. I just played that hole horrendously. Every time he's thrown the bait out there, I've been like, uh, just grabbed hold of that hook. This framing is so good. Oh, he's got a little saddle here where the pin is. Interesting. Just throw it in there. Come up short, dead. Go long, dead. You get tons of room to put it in here. Everything like the the trees that the whole fall vibe works. I'm not usually a fan of fall either, so interesting. Oh, that's quite the uh, false edge there. Um, try this, I guess. That's too much. Oh, crushed it. Crushed that too. <laughs> yeah, gave you that one, Dan Dan. Yeah, it's not an easy course, but again, there's always a safe place to hit the ball to. You could run that one on for days. You have the whole left side of the green to play to. Um, there's always a safe area.
the one thing I will say is these these par fours. A lot of the, like having a bunch of three hundred fifty yard par fours can get a bit tiring. Just because I like to hit driver. But it's going to make you think, and oh, jeepers. Bye bye. Well, I mean, the whole, the entire land goes that way. That's a hell of a pin, though. I, the argument for this pin is you just have to you have to hit it left and use that slope over there. That's the argument. It it's getting it's getting towards my line though. I, I'm. And that's just me. It's a great looking par three here. I mean, this has got to be all over it. Oh, it's short. No. Wait till 13. Hey, Seb. Ah, I, I've made every wrong decision possible, Maddie. I don't hate it. That last green I wasn't a massive fan of. Yeah, every time you've tempted me into hitting a driver at it, I've I've taken it. <laughs> what hole was that? Yeah, 10. The 10th green was a bit, was on the line for me. Playing pin 2, so it's that back pin that's right beside the massive slope. Well, I, that, on 10, I took a 3-wood, and then I was into the wind, so I pitched a 9-iron instead of hitting a full sand wedge, and I just pushed it a bit and ended up gone. There's some really, the one, um, there's a par 3 on the front that's like 240-ish that I hit 3-iron and ran it on there. That was cool. Oh, I gotta hit, you gotta hit this left. That's just a poor shot by me. Although, I didn't really have much room left either, did I? Oh, well, maybe I did. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. I like that. Hit it to like, I don't know, four feet. I get the sense that after yellow prayer or yellow grass got torn to, to shreds, you were like, that's not happening again. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is kind of like the second where you've just, it's a ridiculously short hole and then the green is hilarious because of it. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Where, how are you getting four pins on here? Uh oh, missed it. Uh it's 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 a it's an eighty yard hole. Uh oh. Okay. I just made bow again an 80 yard hole. It's impressive. Yeah, the wind didn't help. Uh, was that the one where I made an eight after I was on in two? Cause it, it, it wasn't that bad. 
Yeah, no, it wasn't like that. I, I hit a bad second shot there. Yeah, the planting works really well. Um, there's some, the ground game, again, I can play this out to the left and run it in. Which I love. Now kick right. That didn't kick right. Maddie. Holy crap, Newcastle's winning? Yeah, I figured I missed, I just missed um, a ridge or something. Oh my god, this isn't very long. 677 OB all down the left. Uh, it didn't work. See maximum scored? Nice. Kick hard. Oh, just stay in the weeds. In the seventh minute? Oh. Wow. That, that, that's a long time for us to defend anything. Oof. Maddie. Now, let's take into account the fact I hit a miserable drive there. The drive in the... F hit that... Hit stop. The drive in the fairway lets me get up here where I can hit something I can actually get anywhere near this pin. So I'm punished for missing the fairway. That's fine. And I like it when you're punished, but you're not... It's not like a penalty shot. It's... Okay, yeah, you're going to struggle now. So you make a you make a par on a 670 odd yard par 5. That's fine. That I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. Wow. Now we're going to just rage hammer a drive down here. As Matt giggles because it's the wrong Maddie giggles because it's the wrong play. Just slice one up here. Bent, bent, bent. Maddie, I'm getting upset. I don't know. I like yellow grass more, not because I can score on it, but because it's just getting kicked off of greens is not fun. Oh, I like this idea though. You want to be farther right for the angle. That makes it longer though. Doesn't quite bring that creek into play, but it makes you think about it. And then you get booted over here. Hmm. I think we're going to take three wood into a par four. Oh, great. I 
That's a tough hole. That's a tough hole. And then we got a Beeritz here. Lovely. No, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, it road bounce is incoming. Oh no. Get up. Go, 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 go. I beg to differ. I'm on the other side of the fence. Okay, we missed the trees this time. There it is. Right in the bunker. Couldn't have been a dumber shot. Oh my god. Love that green at the back. Or the, sorry, the bunker at the back that I'm probably about to go into. Yeah, you have to be precise around here. It's definitely a course where you're going to want to leave yourself full shots in at all times. And in the wind, good luck. So I shot 57 on Petro's course and 69 on Maddie's. <laughs> Not that it matters. Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Um, no, have to do a little editing on this. Just want to get to the scoreboard or scorecard. All right, if you're watching on YouTube. Um, I did an oopsie, so I've done a little edit to get us back to the scorecard. 6,900 yards. Yeah, it didn't feel like it played very long. There was a lot of short par fours. Um, my favorite hole is probably the par through the, um, this one. The way you run it down that hill is just so much fun. Um, and then this hole... It's sneaky, because if you don't have wind, it should be fairly easy. If you have wind, it's not. I think a lot of times there was areas you just cannot miss it, and I just didn't play it right. Um, I mean, I know I didn't play it right. I hit driver way too often. But I think there was a bunch of times where it was like, you just cannot miss the shot left. You can miss right, you cannot miss left. Um... And I did that far too often. But the greens are probably, for me, they're probably a little over the line. They're, for my, what I prefer. Um, I played it in some wind, so that didn't help at all. So much more difficult to keep it online. But yeah, they were very, the greens were very punishing. Um, and I would hate to see them sped up much. I mean, I just, 187 out here would be hilarious. But at the same time, they did seem to match the way the whole property was, so I can understand it. I think if the greens are toned down just a hair, then this is a, just a fantastic course. I think it with it now, it's a really good course. I don't think it's as good as yellow, prayer, yellow grass. I think yellow grass is better. And, I mean, we're not judging this against previous courses, but I'm just thinking that, to me, that was the way that it flowed was a little better for me. But um but there's some good stuff out here too. It's like a seven hundred yard par five. I like actually I loved how this played. I loved how this played because it forced you to hit your drive in the fairway. Otherwise you're gonna be hitting a, a shot you couldn't get at the pin with. I think that's absolutely fine. Um 
Yeah, we flew kind of close to the sun on a couple greens. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what uh, the people who judge this think. But it's a, it's a hell of an effort. Um, we know Maddie's a great designer. I think Maddie's maybe gone a little bold this time, and it's a matter of whether or not you think it's too bold. I think it's is what it comes down to. Um, Houdat did the same thing. So it's definitely a plat level, level greens. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Feel free to hit like so you can see more of these great, uh, so more people can see these great courses by these great designers. I'll be back with another playthrough shortly, but for now, I'm going to say cheers.